Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. First fight in the UK. How was that, Jason? Yeah, it was good. You know, I, I really enjoyed that, I think. I enjoyed the whole week nearly as much as the fight itself because so close to home and seeing everybody over here, it's unbelievable. I feel right at home, even though it's not a homecoming, you could say, yet. But uh, maybe it's in the pipeline now. Were you a bit disappointed it didn't really last long? <laughs> not really. You know, I do all the hard work in the gym and... We do. We put in all the hard rounds. You know what I mean. And you know, my last two or three fights, I've had a good few ten-round fights and with tough opponents. So there's no harm getting them out of there early and injury-free. What did uh, Dom say to you right after? Yeah, Dom says he says, see how easy you can make it whenever you box. You know, because before I've been getting drawn into kind of fights and getting caught up in a bit of a scrap. You know what I mean. But you know, this fight, I, I kept my distance and uh, I picked my shots well. And uh, I heard him at the start of the second round and I just carried on and took him out after that. Do you have any idea when you're going to be out next? I'm ready to be out as soon as possible again, you know, I'm staying ready. It was a, it was a nice, you know, break into the, into the UK debut, European debut, everything like that. So it was in there tonight and it's great being on a, on a great card with the likes of Charlie Edwards, Buati, Okoli, you know, all the lads in there. It's, it's great to be on a, on a great card and I'm very grateful as well, you know, for the likes of my, man, my management, Shear Sports, my, my promoters, Golden Boy Promotions, for working with the likes of Eddie Heron and Eddie, working with Golden Boy and The Zone. It's a, it's a great team up and hopefully it's something that we can build on now and go very far in. You iron up any middleweights? All of them. All of them. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I'm in the, the peak in the prime of the middleweight division right now. I'm ranked number five with the WBC. Mm. I have the likes of Canelo, Golovkin, Danny Jacobs, Demetrius Andrade, all with my true and golden boy to zone. It's, uh, I'm rubbing my hands together here, you know what I mean? So it's all about staying focused now, taking one fight at a time, another two or three more fights, and uh, hopefully we can get that title shot. Mm. You believe by sort of end of the year or next year you'll be in with one of them names? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, this is this is why I'm in this sport. You know, um, I think if I didn't believe that I could get to that level, I'd be wasting my time doing this, and I could pick a <laughs> pick an easier job, maybe. You know, so this is uh, this is something that I enjoy to do. I have a goal, I have an ambition to achieve, and uh, hopefully by the end of the year I'll be very close to doing it. I've not done it. Are you happy at 160 as well? You see your future there at 160? Yeah, I see my future at 160. You know, I make the way comfortable, but definitely looking to move up to super metal as well. You oh, okay. Know, it's, uh, right. it's, it's something that's, you know what I mean? It's only eight pound difference, you know, and it's something that I would love to do. Obviously, I've started out as a pro. I've stayed in my name now in the middleweight division. I want to get a title or two in this division and then possibly move up to super metal. Some big fights at 168 as well. Yeah, it's massive, you know. Uh, I'm blessed to be in the situation that I'm in. And, you know, people could look at it and be like, oh, geez, I'm in the middleweight division with the likes of Canelo. And uh, if we move up to super middle, you have Callum Smith, you have all these lads, you know. But at the end of the day, this is, this is the sport that I love to do. And I have a lot of dreams and ambitions in this, in this sport. And uh, hopefully by the end of this year, as I say, I'll be well on my way to achieving them. All right, Jason, what on tonight? Appreciate it, lad. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure we'll catch up soon. For sure, 100%. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you.